everyone, welcome to our polymer clay succulent turtles tutorial. Quite a mouthful. <laughs> so in your kits you should have your template mat, your polymer clay, all your goodness super glue, needle, paint brushes and your goodies to do your details. So let's get started. Now in your containers you'll see two lots of granite clay and that's because there's going to be enough for you to do two different turtles so popping some aside you can see the stuff uh, the sorry the clay beside the granite clay is there for our moss and the rest we're going to be using to create all our different colors for our suckies so we're gonna have three different tones of green we're starting off with our lightest tone now and then we'll have a medium tone and we will also have our standard green so we'll just leave the green as is So starting off, I'm going to mix the lightest tone of green and you can see I've just got a little ball aside and then we're going to be moving on to our medium tone, which we'll be using for our cacti and also our sort of uh, aloe vera type succulent. Now I've just realized that we need a bit more green for our sucky, so I've just taken that from our moss section, making it go a bit further. Awesome, so it's finalizing our medium tone. <coughs> Perfect, and now we're just going to add a little bit more to our lighter green. We need a bit more to do our both of our turtles. Nice. Mix those two together. We've got our two tones and then we've got our original leaf green. Now we're just going to go through and add white to all of our other colours so we can make some nice light pastel tones for the rest of our suckies. Awesome. Now I've got a bit of white left over, so we'll chuck that in with our leaf green. We'll make a nice brighter green for our moss for our turtles. colors are mixed it's now time to do our turtle so we've got our granite clay make sure you give your hands a good wipe before progressing onto this one and then molding your clay making it nice and warm so it's easy to work with next we're gonna distribute our clay onto our little tail head shell and leg section And you can see this bit's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to line it up and make sure you've got a good amount with the circles that are on the template map. Now 
now that you've got all your pieces ready to go, you can start making all your body parts. So beginning with the head, what you want to do is pinch it and roll it in between your fingers to create kind of like a, um, a tadpole, tadpole shape. Lining it up with your template mat. You can already see here that mine doesn't quite line up properly, but if it doesn't, then that's no stress at all. It's just there for a guide. So onto our legs now, we're going to separate them into four even little balls for each of our legs. followed by the shell. So that's just a matter of popping your ball on the shell spot and we're just pushing it out, trying to make sure it doesn't exceed the little template mat too much. And you can see there, we've put about a half a centimeter thickness on our shell. And then finally doing our little tail. Now the legs, very similar thing to the tail, you're just doing that angled side roll. So it's a bit skinnier on top and wider down the bottom, just like a little stump of a turtle, turtle leg. Now we're gonna pop everything together. It's just a matter of putting the head on, applying a decent amount of pressure. The same story with the tail. Finally, you're going to push those little legs on the bottom. <clears throat> That's why you want to ensure there was a good amount of height. So when you push them down, that they have a good, um, they still have a good amount of height and they're not too flat. Wonderful. Now we're ready to do our moss. So what we're going to do now is just roll it up and you're going to split this bit in half and that's because you're going to be using one half for one turtle and the other half for your other so popping it on your template mat you want to round it down and create sort of like a turtle turtle shell basically Smooth it out. And then you're going to pop it on top of your shell and do some smoothing around the edges so it's nice and attached. Awesome, he's looking fantastic. Just smoothing it around the head. Awesome. It's good to go. Now we're going to be moving along and doing some of our little um, suckies on top. So beginning with the easy ones, we'll start with the little cacti. And you can see on the little turtle, it's just a matter of rolling little balls. So I've got two different sizes. So I believe there's five cacti all up. Oh, no, sorry, four. There's four. Two sets of two. You can see that one set is slightly smaller than the other. Um, and that's completely personal preference if you want to have them the same or noticeably bigger, smaller. It's completely up to you guys. So now I'm just going through and doing lots of little balls 
and this is because we're going to be creating um, sort of like a little, you know, a hairy plant of some type, some type of aloe vera. So rolling out lots of different sizes and that's because we're going to be rolling them into points and you'll see um, the effect that having the different sizes creates. And we're just going to leave them as balls for now and move on to the next colour, which is the lighter medium coloured green. And this round we're going to be making our little cacti. So he has four different balls. You can see we've got a big one, we have two medium sizes and one small. And this is because we will be squishing them down and creating a really cool, um, sort of like a rabbit ear cacti. And now we're going to be rolling out lots of little balls again so we can do the big long sort of snake aloe vera plant. <laughs> And again, it's completely up to personal preference. Um, if you guys want, you can do the exact amount that I'm doing. You can do more or less. So you can see we're going to just go through and do all the little balls, all the different colours, and then we'll go through and add more detail. Now we're going to be rolling out all of our little purple balls and you can see here we're doing that slanted motion. We want it to be nice and rounded on the end, nice and bubbled. Think, think of a uh, jelly bean, the succulent jelly beans. And now we're going to be just popping them together using your pointer fingers and your thumb to hold it in place. Applying a good amount of pressure at the end and twisting. And now we're going to be doing that exact same thing with our pink. Now with this one, we're going to be breaking it up into two different ones. You can see we've got a bigger pink one and then we're going to be a little cluster which will slot nicely in between some of the suckies. Now moving on to the blue. The exact same process. It's lots of little balls and you're doing that roll, um, sort of slanted roll, creating nice rounded little bubbles and then popping them together. Now that we've gotten some of the suckies made, we'll finish off all these little green parts. Starting off with our little spiky plants. You're going to be doing that same rolled motion. You don't need to ensure it has the rounded side now, you're just going to make sure it has a nice pointed tip. 
So we'll be doing opposite. Roland. All right, then grabbing the white edge, white edge first. Going to be popping them all together to create a little spiky plant, just like you did with the others, but having the spiky edge outwards. Now, if you notice that it is too long, you can very easily just grab a needle and trim that excess off so it doesn't stand too tall. Now you're going to be doing the same color, but making that little cacti. So you want to just squish everything ever so slightly so it's nice and flat. And then you see here, we're going to place it together to create our rabbit ear cactus. So the big one, our two side prongs, and then we've got one tall one which you'll be topping off with a few little um, pink little petals for our cacti flower. And now onto our last spiky plant. So it's the same thing, just rolling it out, ensuring it's got a nice spike on it. And you're angling your finger. So moving on, we're not going to put those that last spiky plant together yet. We're going to be popping that in the little crevices. So for now, we're going to be doing our succulents. So you can see here, we're going to be doing um, so many little balls, five little balls, then three smaller, two, and then two. And you do want to try and ensure that you're as close as possible to the template. That way you're going to have a nice um, symmetrical succulent and it's going to be a bit easier for you to assemble. So you can see we're going to do the same thing for both our blue and our purple. We'll have one of each colour. And then we're going to start creating our leaves. So you can see we're kind of creating a bit of a teardrop shape here. So what you want to do is just pinch it, um, sort of squish it and pinch it, sorry. So squish and pinch and that way you get this lovely teardrop, teardrop shape. Um, and it's also a little bit bubbly. You don't want the edges to be too sharp. Generally succulent leaves are nice and bubbly and rounded. So squishing and pinching. I'm going to speed things up and smash through all these. The very fiddly little ones. Now we're ready to assemble our sucky. So you can see we've got the outer layer, the inner layer, and then our tiny ones on the inside. So using this rough start section to help you along the way, you're going to be placing your five larger sucky leaves along the outside, overlapping each as you go. Now what you want to do is grab your paintbrush and using the rounded end, you're just going to be creating a bit of an indentation for your next layer of sucky leaves to go in. If it's a bit hard to use your fingers, I find using the paintbrush to dab it on really does help. Awesome. And finally, 
you want to use your smallest two to pop them together gently side by side and then you're using your other ones to pop them out um, on the outside as sort of exterior leaves gently pop it in the center and then you push everything in to create your sucky awesome I'm doing the exact same process with this one Now we're on to our star succulent, which is exactly the same, um, it's just a fair bit bigger. So you can see here, I've just upped my ratio size um, and I've tried to keep them all the same size. We're just going to be making a slightly bigger succulent and if you're wanting to, you could do um, smaller ones or as many as you like. This is more or less just a guideline for you. Now we're going to round off all our leaves, smushing it down and then pinching it on the ends. And then we're going to assemble it together just like we did with our other two suckies. Now before we put it all together, we have got to make some little stone pebbles to put around our sucky garden. It's just a matter of rolling up lots of little balls, as many, many as you're wanting. Sweet, now it's time to assemble. So this part, there's not too much explaining involved. Um, it's sort of just a matter of watching. It's all dependent on where you guys want to place it, honestly. You can see here, because the, um, the clay is nice and wet underneath, you're able to stick your suckies on nicely. It's showing that you want to put a good amount of pressure down, but not too much. You don't want to destroy the details in your suckies. You can see I've gone through and trimmed a lot of my succulents to make sure they fit and you might even need to adjust some of the sizings. All just depends on where things fit. And now we're going through and putting our little rocks in <clears throat> before we go through and add our details with our needles and our pastels. looking good so first we're going to be doing our details on our cactus or cacti and this is just a matter of you going through and doing little indentations with your needle 
and we're doing it in quarters and then in eighths. and then we'll be doing this exact same thing to our small ones on the back as well. Awesome. Now while you're doing a needle, you can see here you're going to be going through and doing lots and lots and lots of little pricks into your um, your moss or your clay moss and that's going to create a really cool aerated fluffy mossy effect for you. So um, have fun with this one. I always find it a really therapeutic process. It's lots of fun but do be careful not to get your succulents or any of your other spots just on where your moss is. Our needle detailing uh, is done it's time to put some color on this guy so you can see here I'm starting off with some pink and that's just a matter of dusting over the tips of your succulents putting emphasis on the very very tips and then blending it in to the green of your succulent as you progress down your leaves now the clay is still wet so you don't want to be pushing too hard, you only want to, be, want to be dusting really, really lightly over the top of your clay. Do the same dusting on all of my other green succulents and cacti and then also on my blue succulent I find the blue and the pink is a really nice contrast Now I'm going to move on to some purple, so I'm just going to give emphasis on the ones that are already purple, giving it a bit of depth on the um, tips. Doing the same thing, the purple tends to be a very powerful pigment though, so you want to only be using very tiny amounts. And I'm also going to do a little bit of a purple powdering on my pink succulents. All right, so he's ready to be cooked. So I'm gonna chuck him in at 180 degrees for, I believe, five minutes. Oh, 
six minutes and it's at 200 but 180 we definitely recommend let's have a look how it's done after six minutes it still is a little bit longer generally when it is cooked um, it starts to smoke a little bit so we'll chuck it in there for a little bit longer still a little bit too soft so two more minutes and let's see how it's done wonderful a little bit of smoking there and it's now a bit tough no more softness it's good to go let's move on to the fun part I'm going to go through and glaze the whole thing, make it nice and shiny. And we do this by using um, our water-based tacky glue. And that just gives it a really nice glossy finish. And you really want to ensure that you get in all the little crevices and cracks and that there's also not too much um, too much glue blobbed on there all at one in one spot. Make sure there's a nice even layer. Awesome. We're just blotting out all the little blobs and then you will wait about five to ten minutes for it to set. Um, if you pop it in the sun it'll be really nice and quick and then we can do our final touches. Awesome. This is good to go. We're gonna go through and put our little cacti spots in. So we do this by just using the toothpick that should be in your kits and you're just gonna be popping little um, little spots in each of your sections that you've created on your cacti. I try and do about three, two or three per section. Finally, you're going to do the spots on your little flowering cactus. That's just a matter of going through and putting little blobs where you want to, basically. Make it look nice and spotty. That's looking awesome. Wow. Well done, everyone. I hope you have made stunning creations and that you really enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck on your next crafting endeavor.